a little bit. Whoops, did not mean to slam that. Decided it would be a good idea to um, make like a last minute really simple journal because I know that I'm not the only one who's maybe a little bit behind and maybe you wanna do December daily. So I thought we'll just make a quick journal. I might not get the whole thing done on this live, but anyways, say hi if you're here and I'm just getting all my stuff um, situated here. Yeah, oh, I might, this might pause for a sec. Okay. If you were on when that paused, will you tell me, does the screen just like pause or what does it do? <laughs> Hi, Tammy. I'm going to put the camera down in just a minute. Hi. Hi, Lori. I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, so this is me not prepared. Just like I know some of you would be. So we're just going to go with it. Hi, Cheryl and Lisa. Hello to Sweden. So, okay, let me go over the supplies, although I probably don't have everything here. But thanks, Lori. Um, yeah, so you're just going to need a cereal box or some kind of a box. I like this size because I can make it as tall as I want. Some of the like cracker boxes and things are smaller. I'm looking for my ruler so I can tell you um, sizes and stuff. Um, and I like that the spine is a little less than two inches and I think that's good for something like this. Hi Madeline, thank you. You guys are sweet. Okay, so cereal box. And then today I'm gonna to use Dollar Tree fabric because that's easy and inexpensive. I have a white one because this might be see-through. No, I have a white one and then I have like this Christmassy one. Actually, I have another design. Maybe you guys can help me. It has like gnomes on it. It might actually be cute. Let's see, we'll open these up and decide. And then I get a lot of requests to show how I make my journals like plush. And so I do have batting as well. It's not like a Dollar Tree product though, so I wasn't sure if I should use it, but I think you could get the same look or idea using like a Dollar Tree towel. I should try that sometime. Anyways, um, hmm, this is really cute fabric actually. So there's this one. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I don't know, man, might have to use that. And then, let me open this one and we'll get started right away. But I wanted to just come on and say hello and hang out for a sec. Okay, I could open this, that would be lovely. And then this one, I just like this one because it's classic. So, vote below. <laughs> um, give me a one if you want this, if I should use this one or two for this. Okay, so those are Dollar Tree fabrics. I, again, I have the white as well. And then just basic supplies like scissors, glue. And then it's helpful to have a Christmas paper pad, maybe. Let me get that off my fingers really quick. Um, not necessary, you could use whatever papers you have, but it just makes it so easy and quick if you have you know, some Christmas papers. You can use plain as well. And I always add like some music paper too. I'm gonna do the pages pretty plain. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna have to bring you below or I'm gonna, yeah, show you the view down below. But real quick, while we're here, I'll just stay here and say hi to a few of you. And I'm gonna take this box apart and if you're here, if you can give the video a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Okay, so yeah, I just start by trying to um, make it flat so it's easier to work with. And then I'm just gonna cut one of the sides down. Okay, we got a two. I'm gonna wait till some of you vote. Oh, 
Ooh, it's like a tie. One, two, three. We have three ones. Two twos. Two twos. Wait. One, two, three. Oh, I think it's a tie so far. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, I'll cut this down and then I'll see. So I'm just gonna cut one of the sides completely off here. I'm sure a lot of you know how to make journals using boxes, but <clears throat> some of you don't, so we'll just do it. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Okay. Today's Monday, right? Yep, Monday. Yep, today's a work day for me. And I had a good weekend too. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys down now. And <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was about to film and I was like, oh, my phone is at 5%. So had to grab my charger. And so there's cords everywhere, garbage everywhere, mess everywhere. But you know what? I'm sure I do. I'm gonna turn you around. And it's gonna be real loud for a second. so you can see like measurements and stuff I'm not gonna see all of the comments at this view but I will be checking in so if you have a question or something I'll I'll answer it but I might not be able to answer right away candy cane fabric oh yeah here I'll tell you well that's okay I got your vote Madeline. I think now I messed it up it was the gnomes for one candy cane for two okay so Let's see. I mean, it's kind of an uh, even. We have one, four ones. I think there's a couple more of the candy cane. I don't know. We'll go with this. I'll probably make another one with this. I think that it's kind of an even tie. I don't want to wait forever just to see. Okay. Also, kind of the nice thing about both of these fabrics, they're pretty busy, so you don't have to do a whole lot of decorating beyond this. Okay. We have this flattened down. And so now I'm just going to start by trimming it down to the size I want. And <clears throat> I really just start little by little, little by little. And... My trimmer is not the best. I don't ever know why, but it's just not, so. so. This will be the boring part. I was gonna trim this down ahead of time, but I just wanted to get started. I am thinking that we'll do, Oof. why is that not trimming? Um, We'll do like, five we'll do five and no we'll do six inches by nine that's kind of a big journal but yeah and this is definitely not the tutorial you want to be watching if you're trying to do this quick because I'm definitely not getting to the point in this one but I do have obviously other tutorials I'll try to link it below if you're watching this replay and you're like why isn't this girl getting to the point well that's because this is a live video we hang out we hang out here Okay, now I'm yelling. So I'm gonna, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do nine inches tall. So, oof. it would be great if this actually tr worked. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy the process, but I think sometimes like, if you're watching this as a tutorial cause you wanna do something real quick, Watching like a replay of a live is not the best idea. And I know that, and I feel like a lot of people know that, but some people will come on to these videos and comment and be like, just get to the point. Um, you can always make this like a wraparound journal and keep on like the extra little piece here, but obviously I'm not gonna do that. So nine, yeah, we'll do nine by six, cause then we don't have to really trim the paper too much. Okay. 
I need a new trimmer for Christmas, like a good one. I think that's probably what I need. All right. Also, I started a batch of tiny ornament journals and I'm gonna try to hopefully have those done by this weekend. That's cutting it, cutting it kind of close there. Probably not gonna. So glue and fabric now. And I am gonna do fabric first. Okay, so I like that Dollar Tree has this white fabric. It's very see-through, but it's good for a base. And I like, I like my journals to be like super plush. Okay, so there's like almost 50 people in here. There's 14 thumbs up. So if we get a few more, that would be awesome. Okay. I'm basically, um, yeah, I can replace the cutting blade and I do all the time, but I don't know if it's just that brand or what, because the brand doesn't, or I mean, it never seems to work good. I have another trimmer that does work good, but it's, um, it doesn't have the, what do you call it? The, <laughs> what, what is it called? The score. It doesn't have the scoreboard. And so that's convenient for me. Okay. I'm basically going to start gluing just everything. So this will, I use a lot of glue and I like this glue. Like I will literally buy stock into this brand right here, guys. I love, love the glue. Um, I like it because it dries hard, it hardens. And so it really, it adds stability to your journal. I mean, if you don't want a hard cover then you might not like this glue, but but if you have been with me for a while, you already know that because it's really the only glue I like. So I'm just kind of messily putting it everywhere and then we'll rub it in. That's what I do. Kind of spread it out, I guess. Because some fabrics, like if I keep it like this, some fabrics, the glue shows through. It does usually dry, but... Sometimes I've had it with like cheap fabrics, which, you know, Dollar Tree. So I go like this, I just get messy. Just kind of spread it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe I'll do some sewing on this one too, I'm not sure. Okay. Would you guys do this weekend? Anything Christmassy? Okay. So now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna line it up with one of the corners or the edges up here um, so that I don't have to trim too much. And I'm gonna leave like an inch all the way around like that. And then I'll just use my scissors to trim all the way around. Yeah, this fabric is uh, very thin so it's easy to cut. I love that the Dollar Tree has fabric now because I've seen so many cute prints and it fabric can be expensive, so. Um, yeah, also I, on one of the last lives, I think I was telling you guys, I couldn't find my Christmas, my Christmas stuff, like for crafting and my papers and stuff like that. I did just find it, but it's, it's in this closet underneath my stairs and it's really hard um, to get to it. So, I don't know. Okay, then I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trim all of the corners. So, I just go like this all the way around. Leave like an eighth of an inch um, border, if that makes sense. Okay. I made a gingerbread house this weekend and they have like a link where you can watch a tutorial sort of on how to put the gingerbread house together and it was the most awful tutorial ever it was fun it it reminds me of like what I'm doing right now it was like it was just it was like an 82 minute video not really that long but and it made me it really made me think about like okay if I'm doing tutorials man I gotta get to the point because it annoyed me but obviously sometimes sometimes it's fun to just hang out and like take forever, but that's cause like we're hanging out, you know what I mean? It's different. But if you have a tutorial that's like 
on the box of something. I sort of feel like it should be a quick and like to the point video, but it was just like a video like mine. It wasn't professional or anything. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just complaining though. I mean, bless her heart. She did her best. She probably got a lot of views because I'm sure a lot of people click it. So um, anyway, I'm done talking crap now. It was, it's not like her, it wasn't the girl's fault or anything, but the company, I feel like. So I am just gluing now and wrapping these around the edges. Okay, just wrap this around. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up here. Okay. Huh. You're trying to ignore that it's Christmas or that it's December already. Yeah, I feel that. I feel like I have so much to do. And gosh, I'm usually done shopping for my kids at this point. And I am for the most part, but my son is so hard. He's 11 and like I, I need, yeah, I don't know. I just need a few more ideas, but Normally I go overboard and buy way too much for them. This year is different and I'm glad for it because I don't want Christmas to be all about like presents and stuff. I mean, I never have, but, but I'm a gift giver. That's my, that's, that's what I like to do. I like to buy stuff for people. Maybe not buy stuff, but you know. Anyways, okay, so we have this glued on now. That looks kind of fun. Now, since I want this to be plush, I'm gonna use batting, but of course, skip this step if you just wanna have, you don't have to do this at all. Your journal will turn out like just the same, except not just the same, it, you know, it just won't be as plush, but okay. Then I'm just gonna go like this and roughly measure. Actually, for this part, I'm gonna try to have the batting be like the exact size um, because it's a little easier to not have to, wait, actually, I can't remember. I haven't done it in a while. J I, just kidding, forget that. Okay, I am gonna do a border. You don't have to, you can do the same size and then not wrap this around. And I just can't remember, it's been a while since I've done this part. But Okay, so just gonna do, yeah, like a half inch something border again. It's just, the next couple steps is it's same thing over and over. We're just adding fabric, wrapping it around. I used to not really like using this kind of cardboard for journals because I just felt like it it wouldn't turn out like a hardcover. But after having journals in my collection for so long, I feel like there's not a big difference to me in how like they store and everything um, between a hardcover and something like this, like a semi hard cover. And this is just so simple. So like, why not, you know, I, yeah. Okay, let me try to get this out of the way. Ooh, you know, I brought my computer in here. I was gonna try to turn on some music in the background, but also like some Christmassy fun music, but also I don't really wanna get copyrighted. So I guess probably I won't. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add glue again. You know, I'm just gonna add glue to like the outer edges mostly, a little bit like that. And I think I'm gonna sew this. Yeah, let's do that. So obviously I'm still adding glue. I don't, that was a lie. I'm still in, but not as much because it takes so much glue to do it this way. Then try to center this as best we can. I don't personally ever worry about getting wrinkles out in a fabric because in my experience, um, it all smooths out when you're gluing it on. There might be exceptions to certain types of fabric, but I don't usually have too much of an issue with that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Everything's sticking to my hands now because I have glue all over my hands and this is like fuzzy. Okay. Ugh. 
I don't like that feeling. Straighten that out a little. What are your guys' favorite Christmas movies? Ooh, I just saw an ad. I feel like I'm talking a lot right now. Hi, Julie. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. Um, there's this movie I really want to watch. Well, there's a couple. One is The Fableman, something like that. But there's one that's on Disney right now, and I think it's called The Willow. Willow or The Willow? I don't really know. But um, it, I don't think it's Christmassy, though, but... It just looks good. I just saw. It's yeah. It is good to see you. Um. So we're you're doing a no gift Christmas this year. I love except for uh, one of your grandchildren. <laughs> I am down with that. In fact, I also love the idea of yeah. I'm. You know, I cut myself somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but. Uh, I like the idea too of doing like ex experiences versus gifts. So yeah, like going somewhere, doing something. Yeah, that would be, f that, that's what I like. You know, going on a vacation, <laughs> something like that. One year, it's gonna happen. Yeah, like Disneyland at Christmas times, magical. Would love to do that. Actually, I did go to Disneyland one year for Christmas. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun with my family. And um, I think I, what happened? Yeah, I think that was this vacation where I had to leave early because <laughs> my aunt was watching my dog at the time, I mean, this was like 15 years ago or something. She was watching my dog at the time and that dog was like my baby. And he got out and was like missing. And I literally couldn't even handle the vacation. I had to leave. He was fine, but he was gone for like a, over a full day. He was a chihuahua, he was little. I remember that, but I did enjoy most of the vacation. It was close to the end also, so. Okay, so, hi guys, so there's, yeah, there's almost 60 of you in here now. We got 26 thumbs up. So if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, sorry if this keeps shaking, guys. So the holiday, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, those are good ones. Okay, I'm going to sew. Actually, sorry. Nope, we'll sew at the end. Then I only have to sew once. Okay, now we're going to cover this with our Dollar Tree fabric and... Once again, I'm just gonna add glue mostly around the edges. I have no idea how I cut myself there because I don't even have, what? I don't even have sh sharp scissors. Who knows? Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> this glue is not, going too well because it's like sticking to the fuzzy part of the batting all right that should be fine bull riding you want to go bull riding like real bull riding well okay that sounds fun i'm down hmm. all right now we will set that to the side real quick. Make sure the fabric is the right, I think it's the right side up. It's not very directional. Again, you could iron your fabric if you want. I think I'm fine. Well, I'm not gonna get the iron out at this rate, but this one's pretty creased. I would maybe iron this one, but because I'm not using a ton of glue on this, but I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, this is pretty uh, fabric. And if you just came on for any reason, it's from the Dollar Tree actually. So, okay, now again, trim. I could have saved a lot of time by trimming all this stuff before, but again, I kind of wanted a realistic video just doing the whole process because personally, I think it can, from comments that I get, I think it can be, 
discouraging to people to see a tutorial that's like 20 minutes long. You do this whole big project and then they do it and they're like, why is this taking me 12 days? When realistically, mine probably took me 12 days. But, you know, I just cut out all of the boring stuff. So I think that these videos are important to do sometimes. And it's fun to hang out anyways, but. All right. Now, again, I'm just going to trim the corners like that. I add, I keep a little extra room on the corners for this part because we are wrapping it around like the batting and everything. So it's like a little bit more, needs a little bit more room. Okay, now I'm gonna try my best to smooth this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hi, you're new. Well, welcome. I'm not sure what your name is, but I see you. <laughs> um, I missed a couple messages about the bull riding, but... Um, I do lives. Um, I really just started them back up recently, but I don't have an actual schedule quite yet. I just come on when I can sort of thing. Okay, now we're going to be sewing and... The, it sounds like the garbage man is coming around the corner. My dog is going to be losing it here soon. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to start wrapping these around. And I'm not too worried about adding so much glue because I am going to sew this. But just oops, a little bit enough to like hold it in place for a minute. And I didn't, and I'm just, yep, yeah, I'm just going to do my best to wrap it around as tight as possible. Um, if I had a few paper clips too, because it's not sticking quite yet, because the batting is, um, it's kind of weird to glue stuff down to batting. Oh, Julie, I think I just saw a comment from you really quick, or a second ago, about something you're doing on your channel that sounds really cool. Let me read this. I'm just putting a few paper clips or that's too small. Around to hold it in place for a second because I don't want to wait for it to dry. See, this is one thing I would probably edit out and I have glue all over my hands. So, so on Dear Julie Julie's channel, who's here in the chat, <laughs> She, they're building a journal in 12 days as our challenge and it starts tomorrow with the cover. Well, that's awesome. So if you guys don't already know her, she's a great person to go to for videos. That sounds really cool. I wish I was hoping that I could do a collab with you um, guys. I don't know if it's you and Kara Brandon doing that. You guys do a lot of things together, I know. Or if that's just your channel, Julie. But um I was really hoping to get the chance to do a collab with you this holiday season, but I'm just squeezing too much in. I have a few company collaborations that I'm doing and I'm excited for it. And uh, I can't, yeah, I kind of have to like, that's all the extra time I have really. Okay. Um, and hi, hi, Carol. Okay. Your name's Carol. I'll try to remember that. I probably won't. <laughs> Are you going to add metal corners to the corners um oh that's cool you used to be a mountain dancer on youtube that's awesome hi cat i might add the metal corner i could if you want to see that sure okay now i'm going to start by sewing all the way around and i'm just trying to make sure that everything stays folded in okay this is a lot of layers so i'm just gonna try this out um my sewing machine came unplugged. I'm just using the thread that's in here. It's kind of a peach color. And anyways, it's gonna be loud for a few, but I'm just gonna try to sew a straight stitch all the way around. And I should say, cause I titled this video easy. You don't have to do the sewing part. I just have my sewing machine here. It's something I do. You could just leave it all glued, but.
I know a lot of you have sewing mach machines, so yeah. Take the say or take the paper clips off as we go. Sorry, very loud. Whoops. Okay. Trim off the edges on this one. I'm not gonna make it super messy, but if you guys know me, I, I would normally keep the sewing pretty messy. That's just my. Okay, so we have it sewn on now. Again, you didn't have to sew. And then now you can kind of crease the, crease everything in. You have a vintage sewing machine. That's cool. And an inherited pedal machine. Um. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover the insides with paper. And I think I'm going to use this paper pad because it has pretty uh, classic prints. Okay. Like I said, I don't know if I'll finish the whole thing right now, but we'll see what we can get done. I probably have, let's see what time is it. I can't tell. Well, I should probably be done. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, now I'm just gonna figure out what paper I want here. Um, oh, I like that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Trying to keep everything a little more organized so I can know where it is. Okay. So now, yeah, I like, I like how the fabric looks. It's cute. Okay. Now I'm just going to trim down paper and I'm going to do like a little less than six inches. by a little less than nine because the cover is six by nine. So I just want this to be a little bit smaller. Little nine. And then we'll need one. I always save these because we can use them for pockets and things. Shoot, I just got glue everywhere. Ugh, I hate how this thing shakes. You don't really have to cover the center where the, the spine is, but I like to, so it's just all pretty. Better make sure that's not under there. So a little less than nine. Or I mean, yeah, a little less than nine. And how big was our spine again? Okay, right there. Oh, Madeline, I don't, I don't know if you're still in here. 
She gave me a request to do a rounded spine journal and I haven't done that in a while. Dang it. That would have been good to incorporate, but I have so many different projects going on right now. Okay. Now, just gonna glue these down. I could have put these down first and then sewn, which I do a lot, but okay, I'm just gonna make sure this isn't too big, but I don't think so. Start by gluing this one down. Whoops. I'm trying to think if I wanna add all of the pages in right now on this live, cause it's just gonna be a lot of cutting paper. I don't know if that's, <laughs> yeah. Just gonna glue this one straight down too. And hi, if you're coming on, just making a really simple journal today. I do like to add pockets on the inside of my journal, so I might add that at least. Other than that, I'm not gonna do too much decorating. I was considering, ooh, before I glue this on, I know a lot of people like to have closures. Let me see if I have some Dollar Tree um, lace. I think that might work well. Uh, shoot. Oh, I might. But. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, guys. One second here. I don't know if, because I'm trying to keep it as much Dollar Tree as possible. Do we like that? I don't know. Oh, actually, I think that will work. I'm just going to go for it. So I'm just going to cut two pieces of this lace. So this is Dollar Tree lace as well. And since I was going to glue this one on the back, I'm just going to Add some glue where I want it. Somewhere in the center, maybe a little bit more to the top. Pretty sure I have one of every type of glue ever made. Okay. Hi, Rusty Pinecone. I feel like uh, it is Tombow glue, yep. I do mostly use Tombow, this one, Tombow Mono Aqua. I really just use this. I have other glues, but I never reach for them. Okay, so I'm just gluing this on just like that. And I probably have like 14 inches or something like that. And then I already added glue to this. So then we're just gonna glue this over and that's what holds on the closure. But I probably will sew around this maybe one more time. I don't know, you don't have to, honestly. I've never had an issue with like one of these coming out when I just glue it. I might add a little bit more glue just to be sure, but I never, yeah, that's never happened. I used to be nervous that if you just glued it, it wouldn't be enough, but I don't think there's any concern about it. Okay. Then we'll glue this one on, but do I want to add a pocket? I probably do. Let me look through this paper pad once more. And then, like I said, this will be really the only decorating that I'm going to do. I like to use these sometimes for pockets because it's easy. You don't have to think about it too much. Sort of thinking. Here, we'll pick one of these maybe. Let me see if there's any other cut aparts that I like. Um, I think. I think so. Just thinking this one with the trees. So 
could trim it. Could add lace to the top. Yep. Let's do that. So, well, because I, I don't want it that tall, but save that. Okay. This is a little bit wider than the paper, so I'll just trim the excess off. Okay, just a little bit. Like that. And then I'm gonna take some more lace. Like that. Whoops, like that. And add a little bit of glue just to hold it on. Like that. You could decorate. I, if I was making this not on a live or like for someone or something like that, I would probably decorate this a lot more, but that's okay. I'm gonna sew across the top. Again, you don't have to use a sewing machine, but I just have it. Okay, then. Then I'm gonna sew all the way around. Like that. I'm just sewing all the way around just because I had it up here. Not necessary. Okay. And then just add glue to this. Okay. I'm hosting Christmas at my house this year. Um, it's just my family. So my kids. So yeah, let's see. So my kids my parents, my sister, her kids, her husband. And I'm really excited. When I moved into this house, I couldn't stop dreaming about like hosting parties, having people over. I love cooking for people, taking care of people, all that. <laughs> you guys probably know. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm the only like non meat eater in the family, really. Well, I mean, my kids don't either, but that's the only thing I don't mind. I'm, I'm good at cooking meat, so I probably will. But my mom also said like she would cook a ham or something and then I'll just cook all the sides, but I'm so excited for it. It's going to be great. So I'm just thinking, now I'm thinking about food. What am I going to cook? So if my mom makes a ham, I guess I would do mashed potatoes, gravy, some mac and cheese, um, rolls. What else do we got? I like doing lots of appetizers too. Anyways, I'm talking about food now. Will you, will, oh, I forgot my, <laughs> will your lace wrap around then? Oh, no. See, I couldn't look down, but that's okay. It's not too late. Funny. Thanks for the reminder, guys. I was <laughs> getting excited talking about food. I think I'm hungry actually. Yep. Luckily it's not too late. And I've done this many times. I Actually, I always forget, <laughs> and I'm kind of bending this fabric, but it's gonna be all right. Eep. Now I'm adding like so much glue. Oh, jeez. Whoops, thanks for the reminder. I did not remember, but also real life. Now I could sew around all of this again. I'm not gonna do that because that's gonna be annoying, but here we go. So now we have basically our journal cover. Super cute. It feels nice and plush. That's fun. Um, does anyone, can you tell me what time it is? I couldn't hear you screaming it to me. <laughs> yep, sorry guys. Best part about Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, you have time to fix it. That's true. I definitely don't like lose the set right away. Okay, I think I'll just 
start by cutting down the pages. So it's 405 on the east, so four, so it's one here. Okay, I'm good. I can have a little more time. Now, yeah, this part might be boring, so whatever. I am, so if this was gonna be a December daily journal, I, by the way, I haven't forgot about the metal corners. I might add those in a minute, but let me just start by doing this. A lot of people ask how many pages I put in journals and it's never like the same. I always just figure it out. But if this is December daily, you would probably want 24 to 30 pages. So divided by four with a seven, we'll do like, here, we'll do like, I like to give December daily journals um, lots of space because personally I, I usually add a lot of photos and things into mine. Ooh, that reminds me. I actually got to film a video after this, but um, anyways, sorry, this is going to be loud. I'm going to start tearing out pages and then I'll figure out how many to do in a minute. I like this paper pad because some of it's not super Christmassy. Hi, I saw a bunch more people hop in. Hello, if you are in here. Just making a really simple journal today and yeah, hanging out. Okay, I think I have all the pages. So if I do, let's see. I wanna add a couple other things to this, but let's see if I do three, six, nine, nine by four would be 36. That's more than we need though. Three, six, nine. Am I doing that wrong? Three. Hang on guys. I'm sort of thinking of doing three signatures and if we fold them in half, yep, that would be six. That would be 12, 12, 24, 36. Okay. That's more than we need, but it doesn't seem like a lot of pages. So I'm going to do three signatures, but also a few extra little things in here. Like a couple bags, because I always like adding that type of thing for Christmas cards and such. Envelope. Um, oh, fun. I have this long envelope. Whoops. I'm just throwing shades. I'm throwing stuff now. Okay. We'll do a green envelope. Envelopes are fun to do in the centers of signatures. And let me just check. Is there anything else? Okay. Oh, maybe. I'm going to use one of these fun bags from Cavallini that I just got in my Amazon order. Um, that's probably about it. Okay. Yep. Oh man. Okay. So we have all those things. Now I think I'm just going to start trimming. I'm going to see if I can find my better tr uh, paper trimmer real fast. I could really use it. Huh. Where would I be if I was paper trimmer? I just found a wrapped present in here. Uh, that's right, my daughter did that. Uh, okay, I don't know. That's about as long as I'm going to look for it, so you're just going to have to bear with me here. Yeah, let's try to just do the whole thing on live, this one live, because then you don't have to come back. And if, if you can't watch it all right now, then you can always come back too. Like I'll have the replay up. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to trim three papers at once, which is probably not gonna work. And I'm just gonna trim it down to a little less than nine. So it's just a tad uh, shorter. Got it. And then let me test this out. Oh, weird. I'm not sure what that's all about by folding it in half. I'm gonna see if I need to, if I have to trim the width a little bit. No, that would be perfect. 
that's easy. I like easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim all of these to that same, except for two. And I'll show you why at the end. Um, okay. So, a little less than nine. Yeah, this journal is really gonna come together oh, quite, quite quickly. I don't wanna trim off the design down here. Ooh, this would be fun for a pocket. Okay, sorry, just kidding. Set you aside. I like having fun pockets like that. Like, I'll show you what we do in a sec here. This one could be a pocket too. Let's see. Nine, a little less than nine. I'm gonna start out by, hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have, <laughs> I should have done that differently. That's okay though. I'm gonna set that one aside. Okay, these ones, these two, um, I'm just gonna trim. Actually, I'm gonna take my uh, bone folder and instead of cutting it off at around nine, I'm gonna score it and then we'll make it into a really uh, simple pocket. This is what I like to do when I am making simple journals, but I still want there to be, you know, some pockets. Yeah, I'll do this one too. Because even if you don't wanna have a pocket in your journal, you don't have to use it as a pocket, if that makes sense. You could trim it off. You could still put something here. It's really whatever. Okay, and then we have envelopes that we're gonna, yep. Okay, so let's go back to these designed ones real fast. And I think for this one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roughly trim around like the design. leaving like, a, you know, a little bit of a border because I think it'll be a fun little side pocket. I'm trying to think, um, six. I'm trying to think how wide I want it. So I'm just gonna trim that off. So now it's six. So this will take up one page, if that makes sense gives me a better idea of where I should have it end. Um, maybe kind of like that. I think that'll do. Okay, so. We'll... So we have like our bags and all of the envelopes. And then we have one more here. And for this one, I think I'm gonna trim all the way around, again, roughly around the design. This is such a fun, cute way to add a fun pocket in your journal. And you don't really have to think it through very much. It's like already done for you. And sorry if I'm not watching the chat, but <laughs> I'm, Trying to look back as quick or as much as I can. Hi, Lucy. This looks heavyweight. Are you gonna mix in lightweight paper too? Gotcha. Um, so normally I probably would actually for this one I'll probably just add a few sheets of music paper. But yeah, normally I probably would, but. I'm trying not to add too many pages to this one. So like for this, so you reminded me. I honestly just go with what I'm feeling at the time. I usually, it's always different really, to be honest. I'm just gonna trim this down a little. So thanks for the reminder. Okay, 
maybe just like two sheets because again, I don't want too many pages in here. And now there probably will be too many. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, it's starting to get kind of messy here. I can't really think straight. Ooh, I have an idea though. Okay, that's good. I think I can move the trimmer now. And now, quickly, I wanna just assemble any of the pockets that I was working on and then we'll just start putting the signatures together and we'll be ready to go, ready to go. Okay. I think I'm gonna put this on the music paper. That would look fun. So I'm gonna fold it in half, fold this in half. Yeah, I think, I think I like it. How cute is that? Okay, I'm gonna sew this pocket on. Oops, there was two pages in there. It's okay. And if you're just hopping on, quick little reminder, or here's the cover we did. So we're just assembling the pages now. Okay. Oh, whoops. Not sure what I did here. That fold was off. Okay, now. So I'm just gonna sew around all of the edges here. In fact, I might even add lace to this one. I have a really hard time keeping things simple. You could just sew this on you don't have to I mean <laughs> oh geez I hate this thing um I mean you could glue you could glue it on and hi I just saw a hello hi Jennifer how are you okay so I kind of want to add lace to this because I think this will be the cover page so let me find something real quick I think I'm gonna use some of this um, trim. Sorry, trim. Um, do we like that color together? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, actually, oh gosh, I don't wanna overthink it, but I don't like it. I'm just gonna go for a basic. Gosh, here I am. I was like, I'm not gonna add lace. Now I want to, because it would be pretty. I'm just gonna trim it down a little. I mean, to like a lot of the pages, it would be nice. But anyways, okay, I'm just gonna line this up and then sew straight down. And I'm gonna switch this to a zigzag stitch. I kind of like to do that for laces. Oops. Ooh, my light was going out. That's not good. Oh, it snowed last night or uh, yesterday. Oh my, my brain froze. Okay, I think we had one more pocket, this one. Yeah, it snowed like for the whole day. It was so cool. We have these two pockets quickly. So I'm just gonna fold this just so I can finish these pockets real quick. And I'll just glue these ones so I can, but this, where do I wanna put this? I think I'm gonna put it right here, okay. Yeah, shoot. I am gonna sew this one, sorry. All right, quit saying sorry, Jessica. 
It's like if I'm already sewing it, maybe I should add lace to it too. Please tell me you guys are with me here. <gasps> There's no way I'm the only indecisive crafter. <laughs> still watching. I can see you guys are still there. I just meant uh, this tripod. Dang it. Okay, so got our cute pocket there. We have one more. Then let's assemble those signatures. Okay. I'm just going to glue these ones on, these pockets. So I'm just gluing the edge like that. Very simple. I don't add glue to the bottom because I folded it so it can't go through. Hello. How's it going? Hi, Annette. <laughs> okay. Now we are going to fold everything so that we can get a move on. Okay. We're just gonna fold everything in half and just kind of place it to the side for now. Just get everything ready. Everything's cut down to size, so. You're making a journal right now, that's cool. Yeah, crafting together. I'm just gonna fold everything in half. And if I need to cut anything like this bag, I'm gonna cut the edge off so that it will be a pocket. I'm hungry. I need to eat after this. Real hungry. The envelope, I'm probably gonna make a top pocket. So, like that. This one, I'm gonna trim the edges and it'll be like two side pockets. You'll see when we put it together. This one, I'm not sure I'll cut that later. Bags. I, I usually like top loading pockets in a journal because I feel like things stay in better. So that's usually what I do is I'll fold it in half. Ooh, <laughs> another idea. Um cut the top like that. I was thinking this would be fun to decorate too, but okay. No, we got to this is a December daily. Got to keep it. We got to keep space. <laughs> Just finish. So, I think I said I was going to do 3 signatures, but then I added more pages and pocket, I think I might do four. I like them to be spaced out the most that they can because you have more room to add dimension, like dimensional things. So when, when the signatures are spaced out. Okay. All right, so now we've got that done. I'm just going to start building signatures. Let's put all of the regular pages together. All of the little extras together. And I'll show you how I build my signatures. And then these are, whoops, I forgot to glue the pocket on this side. But that's okay. Like that. So then all of the pockets, pages on one, and then we just have an extra two music sheets. Okay, so start with this one and I'm just gonna build my signatures. I think there will still be about three pages in each one or so. 
So we'll do an envelope in the middle of that one, set it aside. I'll just start with three. And then if we have leftover, um, we'll add more. Um, we'll do this one, we'll do one, two, three. I'm just kind of spacing them out, spacing everything out as I go. Might be able to add more pages into a couple of these. Um, we'll do like this, that, and like that. So that one had four. Okay, so we have a couple more. I don't want to make a whole other signature, so we will just add you in the middle here. Um, we'll add this little bag actually there like that. And then this one, let's see, it does, let me find one that needs something in the center. We'll do this one envelope. Also, I could just leave the, I'll leave the envelope out. Yeah. Don't need it. We can add it to like the back of the journal. We have four signatures now, and so now, whew, I'm getting kind of tired. We can <laughs> go ahead and start sewing them on in. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this flat. Now it's a good time to get some paper so we can make um, a template. I'm just gonna use printer paper and I'm gonna, I want this to be the same size as the spine. So I'm just roughly measuring here, easier. Okay. Are you guys doing anything for New Year's Eve? So along those same lines of me wanting to host parties, um, I'm thinking I'm kind of, it's probably too late though, I think. I was thinking I should have a New Year's Eve party at my house. But yeah, it might be too late to plan that. Um, <laughs> Do people do New Year's Eve parties after New Year's? Like, say I did it the weekend after New Year's Eve. Is that a thing? I wonder. I probably need to out ask people who would come. Okay, let me look through the messages real quick. Because I've been looking down. Annette. Okay, yeah, that's right. You're making a junk journal right now. You're doing great on fast decisions. Thanks. I'm inspiring you. Oh, I'm glad. And I want to start a junk journal, never made one. I already have everything in my stash. Well, you should do it. And Heather, it takes me weeks, sometimes months to finish making a journal. I get that. That's exactly how it was for me when I started. But then I started enjoying them too much. And I, I just want to be able to use the things I have. I mean, we all do. And I'm sure you do too. But it's, it's very hard to get started. That's the hardest part. That's why I try to... Oh my I am sorry. This stupid tripod. Um, that's why I try to inspire people to just go for it because it's, yeah, you, that's the hardest part really is just getting started. I would encourage you maybe try making a small mini journal. Like if you didn't see one of my last lives, we made these mini journals. You could make this in a day for sure. I mean, if you're experienced, it would take a, an hour or two or whatever, but if you're not, it might take longer, but it's a small project. It's very doable for a, a day project. Um, yeah. Hi, Rosa. And my red house, four inches of snow last night matches your paper. Ooh, is there a red house? Oh, it must have been on one of those. Um, I have a red house too. Okay, so now I'm going to write T for the top because I always... That's one thing that will mess you up sometimes. Hi, Anne. Um, if you don't write a T for the top, I'm telling you, you will mess this up. <laughs> now I'm gonna, this is the quickest way to make a template. I'm gonna fold it in half and then I fold it in half again. You could do this, or if you have graph paper, you don't have to do this. This is just my messy, easy way 
then I'm gonna fold it in lengthwise half. That's just so I can roughly measure where I want my holes to be. So we have four signatures, we need four lanes. So since I folded it in half, I know that I need two on one side, two on the other, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna follow my fold mark so you can see sort of, there's fold marks right here. Jen, hi, how are you? And I'm just gonna, yeah, just wing it one, two, just try to evenly space them out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then all the way down. I'm doing a really simple three hole pamphlet stitch. It works, it's easy, nothing to it. Someone wanted to see metal corners. Should I do that really quick and then we can do this? I feel like I need a spot for a charm too. I don't know. Let me grab that real quick and see. Oops. I'll do the metal corners for sure because um, I have so many and they're from Amazon, need to use them up but I'm looking for my little pliers. Um, I just had them yesterday, found them yesterday. These are not the right ones, but we'll use them. Okay. I don't do binding during videos except for Patreons. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Ooh, po um, yeah, that's a great idea. Using Christmas cards as pockets, awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab four. Yep, these are from Amazon. I think we'll just do that for now. Could add a lot more fun things, but try to make this doable. Yeah, I don't think that I'm gonna add, um, what was it? I don't think I'm gonna add a spot for a charm on this one. It would be cute, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue on a corner. And sometimes you don't, sometimes these will slide right on, but this one looks like maybe, no, I need to pull apart a little. It depends. So I'm just gonna use my pliers Pull it apart a little, like that. And then just slide it on. And then turn it around. There. And then, I know you, yep, hopefully you can see that. And then you'll just squeeze that together. And I just add a little bit of glue just because it can come off sometimes if you don't have it on there really well, but I don't know. There we go. And we're just gonna repeat that. And I, I like um, I like how this gives it a polished look and I really like it actually with this print, for sure. Okay, we're just gonna do that same thing real quick all the way around. Man, I was talking about food earlier, about Christmas food, and now I'm really hungry. So, right when I'm done here, I'm gonna eat some food, and then I'm gonna try to film my video on Christmas wrapping paper. And tomorrow's work is Patreon work. Okay, try to get this on. For some reason, this one feels like it's not like, oh, there we go, couldn't get the paper underneath. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be Patreon stuff that I need to do for December to get that all ready to be sent out. And then I am gonna try to do another live tomorrow, but we'll have to see. It's been really fun doing lives though. Okay, I think that one looks good. Did get a little bit of glue. Since this is black, the glue does kind of show up if you have glue like on top of it, but it will come off. It will, it'll come off. Okay. Two more. Just gonna open these ones up. Oh, 
Almost done. Almost done. Then we'll do the binding. Yeah, doing binding on camera <laughs> is definitely not like the easiest thing because I feel like it's so much easier to do. Um, you, I feel like you kind of need it to be close to your face is what I'm trying to say. Also, since this journal is plush, it's like, you know, yeah, it's thick. <laughs> she thick. Um, it's a little harder to get these metal corners on. But it, so, yeah, I don't kind of need this close to my face, too. And then let's get going. I'm ready to be done with this now. My lights keep flickering and I'm wondering why that's happening. Okay, I'm just gonna double check that these are all on good real fast, but I think they're fine. Yep, definitely think that was a good choice. Thanks to whoever uh, suggested that. I think Carol. Anyways, um, oh, I have glue everywhere now. Now we need the awl or a pokey tool. And your template. Okay, and now I'm gonna start with poking my holes wherever I have a dot. Oops. Try to bring you in a little. Even though. Um, you can tape this down or glue it down if you don't want it to move, but I'm just gonna hope for the best and hope I don't poke this into my finger. Um, yeah, by the way, when you add batting, it can be a little tricky to sew through. So just know that. Because, yeah, it's just, it can be hard to line everything up, but it's not impossible. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a little hard, so. Then we're gonna poke the holes through the signatures and then we sew them in and that's about it. Okay, and as long as, oh my gosh, why is this so hard? As long as you use the same template, everything should line up now. Don't be discouraged if something's a little off that can happen, but the I, I'm pretty sure that the top reason that things get, I need to move my stuff. The, the number one reason why things don't line up when you're sewing everything in, I think is because you have a template and then you turn it around and then things aren't gonna line up exactly right, but they're almost, so it looks like it will. Yeah, okay. Now for this part, it's going to be helpful if you have a couple paper clips. We're still zoomed in, so I'm just going to bring it a little bit back out. And my paper clips, I use them over and over, and they're just kind of a wreck. I'm going to fold this now in half, but I'm going to follow those same marks. So I'm just going to put a big X to make it easier so I know where I'm going. Like that and that's where I'm gonna poke the holes into the paper so I like to just put it in here um, I have tons of supplies hoarded over the years but I've only made one ugly little journal it's easy to hoard things that we like but 
Okay, so I'm just gonna poke the holes. When I'm poking this, I'm kind of squeezing this together, if that makes sense, because that will help ensure that it actually goes into the center fold mark. Okay, we have that one. Couple more paper clips. This um, is a little harder if you've already decorated these pages and let's say you have like tags in the pockets and other little flappy things, it can be a little bit harder, so. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, so we'll just finish this up real quick. Halfway done here. Paper clips. Make sure that your signatures are top or that they're not upside down. That's another thing that can happen. You sew in a signature upside down. I've done it. We all have. If, if you've made journals, it happens. You just got to take it off and re sew it or. Just be okay with the fact that it's upside down. It can work sometimes for certain papers. I've done it so many times, it's so annoying. Okay, last one. Um, since I have this envelope here, um, I'll probably wanna do, uh, use some washi tape to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna grab some real quick. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like that. Just add a little washi. Cause I want to make sure that this doesn't move around. I haven't done a full journal tutorial like this in so long and especially not on a live. So this is really fun. Um, I love having envelopes in the center when all of the binding is gonna be inside the envelope, if that makes sense, because you can hide the binding that way. So that's kind of cool. So I want this to be the front pocket. So I'm gonna put this upside down in a pile here and then have these in order for how I want them. So probably like that from front to back. So we're gonna sew in the, the last one first. Okay, now we need our needle, our binding thread, and go ahead and, oh my gosh, this is just awful. I don't know why this tripod bounces around like it's dancing. Okay, I'm gonna measure this by doing three times the length. Length, yeah. And that will be one binding thread. And then I'll just, since we have four signatures, I'm just gonna quickly sew, or I mean, cut four of those. That will definitely give you enough. You can always do extra if it's easier to work with, but I find that having too much, it makes it really hard to work with. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna take one. What are you? And we're gonna thread the needle. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that's hard to do like on camera because you need these things close to your eyes, but we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna take the last one. We're gonna sew it into the last lane through the center hole, line it up with the center. And yeah, I think this batting is gonna make it, oh, because 
And then we're gonna pull it through, leaving a little tail. You can tape this if you think you're gonna pull it through, but I've done it enough. So this is the part where it can be a little hard to see the holes, like this fabric and the batting make it a little hard, but so far I can see okay. And then you're gonna go in the top hole and, oh, for crying out loud. I'm gonna have to bring it close to my face for a minute. in through the top hole, down to the bottom. And then back through the center. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, my hair. And then you want the ends to be one on each side of the middle and then you're going to sew it. I mean, tie it. <laughs> and then I'm going to just trim these off a bit. Okay, we're just going to do the same thing over and over for three more times. <laughs> So while I'm doing this, let's have a little chit chat. What should we talk about? Hi, Danielle. Hello. A few new people just came along. Um, my motto got 2023 or for 2023 is use what you have. Yeah, that's great. I agree. Okay, we're just gonna quickly sell these on. If you're just logging or if you're just hopping on, we have been making this entire journal on this live, so you could watch back if you want, but it's a pretty long. <laughs> yep, we're gonna sew through the top now. I'm gonna have to bring this to my face, yep. Also, if you're just hopping on, this is not the tutorial to watch if you really want to learn how to make a journal. Just kidding, but. Oh my gosh. Okay. Make sure. So yeah, the sewing part's just gonna be repetitive here. But I know you guys wanna see the last part. You wanna see the final product, so. We're gonna do it. Okay, we got two more. Two more, two more. Well, I was hoping to do December daily videos, but <laughs> I don't really think I'm gonna be able to. I just have too many different projects going on and I hadn't even started like my own. I haven't even ugh, taken photos yet. But yeah, have you guys Anyone in here? Are you doing December Daily? If Julie's in here, I know she probably is. Um, you're a three-year subscriber. I taught you how to make junk journals. You've made 20 and sold 12 at craft fairs. Aw. Hi, Elma. Hello, by the way. That is so cool to hear. I'm so glad. I love that. Love that for you. So I've always wanted to do a craft fair, but gosh. Um, I get discouraged for that idea because I feel like, um, from what I've heard, sorry, I'm having trouble, uh, I'm having trouble finding this real quick. From what I've heard of craft fairs, um, 
it can be hit or miss with like who the audience is because a lot of people don't know what junk journals are um and like pricing it seems like you have to have somewhat lower pricing my journals you know they can be expensive for someone who doesn't know what a junk journal is and doesn't know like what all in it entails um for making them so I've, I've wanted to I just yeah I guess I'm just not sure I think it would be cool to make simple journals something a little bit simpler so you can price them a little bit lower that would be really cool and then like have some examples maybe yeah you know that's a good idea for 2023 maybe I'm gonna have that goal I I might do that that would be really fun my mom would be really into it I know she makes a lot of other things too so that would be really cool to do with her um, we could split the cost of like a booth or something like that. And then we could have journals, but like also some other things that would bring people in. Yeah, now you're inspiring me. Okay, I'm sewing the last one in. And if you just hopped on, we are at the end of creating this journal. But, um, hi, Jan, you've snapped some pictures. I, I already said hi to you. Sorry, I know that I did. You snacks, snapped pics each day. I guess I have taken pictures. Did make a gingerbread house yesterday. I have pictures, I guess. I, I don't know. It's just kind of a weird year. Okay, I'm sewing the last signature in. And then we'll be done with this journal. We can look through it together real quick. And then that's about it. Okay, sewing the last one in here. Okay, tie this off. I'm like really needing to clean up here. Uh, sorry, I can't, I can't finish with all of this mess around. Okay, now we're gonna just tie this off and Cut that. And now we can take off all of the paper clips. This is like the most exciting part of it all to me. Take any washi tape off that's holding things on. And I'm gonna actually close this envelope. So like I said, it'll be all enclosed like that. Okay, so we'll just go through now. Take all of these out. This was so much fun. Glad that we got to hang out. Take all these off. Okay, let's do a final flip through and then I gotta go. And then if you guys have any last minute questions or anything, let me know. Okay, let's move all that garbage and let's take a look. Oh, cute. So we have our journal here. It would be really cute with a charm, but you know, that can be added. It feels so good in the hands. It's like plush and it's just cozy. I don't know. Um, we have our ties. You can tie that. And then I like how the lace sticks out there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Someone's driving real fast. Fun little pockets. I would add tags and stuff, but we'll do that a different date. And yeah, lots of blank spaces for photos and actually decorating. That's one time that I like to have blank white spaces. Yeah, Lucy, yeah, you guys just gotta go for it, okay? Pockets, that, yeah, like I said earlier, that's really the hardest part is just going for it. You know what, I'll probably glue these flaps down, but I'm not gonna do it right now. You just gotta go for it, and then it's addicting, and then you can't stop. 
And then you start a YouTube channel and then man, the rest is history. We have little bags. This came together so nice and um, we've been on here, oh my gosh, an hour and a half? I don't usually do this long of lives. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It was so fun. I'll probably put an envelope back here and decorate it, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I can't believe we've been on here for that long. You guys are awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me for so long. Um, I gotta, now I gotta finish all of these little mini journals I got going on here. Yeah, I scored all of these and they're gonna be little ornament journals. I'm gonna do a teeny little collection. I know it's already December, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make them, sell them. If anyone, you know, it's not too late to put things on your tree and I'll, they'll ship pretty quick, I think. Anyways, that's a different project. Okay. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out. I had a great time. I can't wait to do it again. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day, guys.